good morning. This is Gene Thorpe, Little Red Rooster TV, and we're here this morning talking about JB Lansing speakers. This speaker box right here uh, is a C36 box. It uh, came out around 1959, 1960, and it is a beautiful piece. These were owned by an engineer that I bought uh, these from in about 1988, and uh, it's mahogany veneer, very dense particle board, beautiful sound. These are incredible. I used them as studio reference monitors for many years. They have JB Lansing uh, D130 speakers for the woofers and the 375 tweeters, also known as the ring uh, high frequency tweeter or the bullet tweeter, that's what they call it. Um, and both of those were two of the highest caliber components that JBL ever made. Also has JB Lansing crossover networks. And um, we're going to talk a little bit about JBL right now. So I wanted to be thorough about uh, James Lansing. He, he, what an interesting guy. He was born in 1902. And uh, he founded the JB Lansing uh -huh. company in 1927 with a guy named Decker. And uh, both of them had been engineers, but most of the time when you're an inventor or an entrepreneurial type of uh, builder, business builder type of a guy, sometimes you don't have that bean counter uh, CPA type mentality, and I think Decker did. So they were very successful in those early years. 1934, MGM Movie Company uh, wanted uh, James Lansing and Decker to design speakers for the you know, because in 1929 they had talking movies, and so in order to get those out to the people in the theaters, they had to design better quality speakers. So they did, and uh, it was financed by MGM, and it was James Lansing and Decker. Decker got killed in a airplane crash in about 1939, and then in 1941, uh, Altec Lansing took over uh, the Lansing patents and that type of thing and started selling them. And uh, for a few years, from 41 to 49, they did not well. But James Lansing, after he sold his rights to Altec Lansing, started developing his own stuff again. That's when he developed the D-130s and D-120 speakers and, you know, the really nice ring uh, high-frequency tweeters and better crossovers and various different things like that. But by 1949, he was only 47 years old, and he took his own life. It was a very sad thing. And then rock and roll came in the early 50s, and the technology that uh, James Lansing developed all the way from the movie theater sound to the rock and roll. See, like in rock and roll, uh, Fender Amplifier Company started using JBL speakers in about 1960-61 um, to make them be louder and more clear, and man, that just blew everything apart. Then later, in, in about the 70s, um, Harman bought JBL, and uh, today you've still got one of the finest companies around. James Lansing uh, was a very tremendous innovator in the music business. And this is Gene Thorpe and Little Red Rooster TV signing out.